It's planting season for corn and soybeans in the United States. For Amy Betzelberger, the time of year is familiar. So I actually grew up, um, you know, playing in the soybeans and playing in the pasture and uh, learned at a very early age not to go out in the cornfield after it was above your head. It's early in the planting season. It will be some time before the corn is over Amy's head. The field is run by the University of Illinois in Urbana and is an important part of a study called Soy Face. Amy is working on it under the direction of Donald Ort, a scientist with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The Midwest is responsible for growing about 40 percent of the maize and uh, soybean that's produced throughout the world. Uh, you may know that maize is the most important food crop in the world and soybean is the most important oilseed crop in the world. The scientists here say these fields are an ideal place to conduct studies on how greenhouse gases affect crop growth and how much or how little the world food supply will be affected by climate change. Carbon dioxide gas is released from the tubes surrounding the corn plants and Inside this ring, it wafts over the crops at a level environmental scientists predict for the year 2050. Studies show elevated carbon dioxide, a gas attributed to global warming, helps plants grow larger, and in greenhouses, it makes plants look more beautiful. What we didn't know is that it also makes the plants more delicious to herbivorous insects, which might be a problem in the future if there's more bugs eating our crops. Then there's the issue of elevated ozone, which, when released in the rings, appeared to lower soybean yields by 20 percent due to ozone pollution. The future of corn and soybean production is a great concern to countries struggling with record food prices, caused in part by increased demand and decreased supply. Millions of the world's poorest people are on the brink of starvation. We began seeing, even five and six years ago, that world grain reserves uh, we're at dangerously low levels, you know, certainly less than a year and down to several months. And those are certainly harbingers of um, beginning to wonder if there is a bad year globally in production, you know, how is, how is that going to affect world food supplies? And, um, you know, and, and we're beginning to see that play out. In the short term, soy faced will have no impact on food prices. But over the long term, scientists say this research and related genetic engineering might produce varieties that are more resistant to increased carbon and ozone levels and to plant-eating bugs. And that could help prevent future price spikes and shortages. For Amy Betzelberger, it's about carrying on a family tradition that has survived war, drought, flooding, and the Great Depression. If people are aware of these things, there will be more push for tax dollars or uh, private companies to fund this sort of thing. Betzelberger says she hopes families like hers will have confidence that when they plant a crop, it will grow, even in an era of climate change. Kane Fairbot, VOA News, Urbana, Illinois.